Well, good morning, everyone. I'm here by the old Ford. I have the camera mounted on the fender, so it might wiggle around a little bit as I'm leaning on the fender. Open the hood up here. I already had it open this morning. I set a battery in it. And uh, see, it's a 12 volt. That's what I've been using recently. We hook the cables up. And this is how I've been cranking it. So you see it spins over real good. And if you see here, it has an external 12 volt coil wired in to the distributor on the front of the engine. I did that, oh God, probably 15 years ago. Someday I might get a 6 volt coil and change it all back to 6 volt. But right now the priority is to uh, get it to run so I can pull that engine out of the skid loader. And when it's, the condenser is mounted right here, wired into the hot wire going to the points. I know there's a lot of traffic this morning, but there's nothing I can do about that. Sometimes I wait for the traffic, but on a Monday morning, it's just constant. So, right now when I touch the clip for ignition, there's no spark. And now I have to crank some, there is spark, so that's telling me the points are opening and closing. So, if I remember, I thought there was still a problem with this condenser, because I had bought a new one, if I can remember where I put it. But right now, I dump a little gas down the carburetor, hook up the hot wire and see if it makes any noise. Firing, that doesn't sound too bad. I can tell it's missing on a couple. I figured it quit if I tried idling it up. That's what it was doing last time I tried to run it at Baraboo, and I've had it happen before. It doesn't really act like condenser. I mean, in my experience, um, over the years, either they work or they don't. You know, they'll burn the points if they aren't working. And, but uh, this has done that before when the condenser isn't proper. It'll, it'll act more like it's running out of gas than it is the condenser. One time I fought with it for the longest time, changed the condenser and ran perfect. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a different condenser. So if I find one, I'll get back to you. Good morning, it's now Tuesday morning. The yeah. uh, I put a different condenser on it. 
and I seem to have a super weak spark. I put a different coil on it and I retwisted some wires together on my high tech ignition system. And let's see if it goes now. This is the result. here starting the TD9 when I'm working with the Ford truck. You'll see. Well, I was going to use the TD9, but the battery was dead, and I thought I'd use the winch instead, because I'm not too proud to show you my screw-up. I knew there was nothing behind me except for the ditch, and just as I was going to stop, it got close enough to the edge and rolled down in there on me. So I see if I can get it winched out. Well, that didn't work. I guess I will get the TD9. Let's see if it'll start. Hopefully I'll lift it up. 
otherwise you're pull, pulling with the tire right against the culvert. Uh, I don't know if any of you others, any of you out there ever screw up, but this was a screw up. But uh, I'll live through it. I'll live through it and the embarrassment. Now let's see if it lifts it some. So there it is. The truck is in place for lifting the engine out. I'll be raising the boom. I gotta get the point shift back up on the boom. I used it for a uh, four part line for move something once that snatch block. I gotta get it back up there. And I wanted the truck in line with the skid loader so I can just go straight ahead as it has to be moved forward uh, for lifting the engine out. So I spent wasted more time getting it stuck and getting it unstuck and getting it running and getting it moved over here but I'm still happy it's running now 
without any issues. I mean, I, someday I'd like to get all the wiring, but first the skid loaders got to get done. But I got to put a little note in here. Steve, if you were talking about the mirrors on your Albion trying to back up, try backing up with this little bitty convex mirror on one side. <laughs> you can't see anything. And believe me, when you get as old as me, it's harder to stick your head out the window and look backwards too. But I barely ever use it, so I just live with it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you as I get it hooked up to try and lift the engine out. Bye now.